these changes are good. I, I have no complaints about these changes. It seems like they're really trying to accommodate Cast and Mist Weaver and Fist Weaving. Two completely different play styles. I think they're doing a great job of it. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School. 10.2 is here. And today I'm bringing you a video going over all the changes for Miss Weaver. There's actually quite a bit of changes that have happened. And I am on the beta to show you exactly what they are. So with that said, let's jump right into the video. I'll have a link to these patch notes in the description as well. These are the official 10.2 patch notes. So I'll just start from the top and work my way down. This is Finley, if you can see him. Starting off, we have Jade Serpent Statue. Healing increased by 40%. So this is just statue healing. It, it already does a decent amount of healing. It's not the most healing, but 40% increase is really good. Escape from Reality is now a one ranked talent was two. So this is this talent right here. I, I feel like most people only put one talent in it because you basically, you just did it for the port, right? You can pour in the port again. So this is a really, really good change. This, this is the reason why I have one free point right here. So this is a one free point that you get to put somewhere else, which is great. Starting build has been updated. I, I, that's great rising sun kick is now granted by default so before you have you used to have to put one point into rising sun kick i guess for miss weaver we don't have to do that so now we get two free points uh from what we have in 10.1.7 so that's that's fantastic i like those changes a lot you could put those pretty much anywhere i, I might actually put it into fast feet for more damage in pvp and I think that'll change the build a little bit. Rising Sun Kick damage increased by 20% does not affect in PvP, which is fine for PvP. This is really good for PvE because we're mostly fist weaving anyway. So any damage increase is going to help our healing output. So this is fantastic. This is the big change in 10.2, and that is the Healing Elixir change. Healing Elixir has been redesigned as a passive effect. You consume a Healing Elixir when you drop below 35% health and are not in a... Uh, as CC, instantly healing you for 15% of your max health. You generate one healing elixir every 30 seconds, stacking up to two times. It looks like they made some iterations here too. So healing elixir now restores 20% of your max health was 15, and now it triggers that 40% was 35%. So that is this talent right here. It also, one thing I noticed as well is that it doesn't specify that you can't be in crowd control in the talent tree. From when I was testing it, you were able to be in CC, which means if you're stunned, against a rogue, a warrior, something, these will still proc, which is amazing. So I'm pretty sure I wouldn't trust this right here. I don't know why it says when you're not in crowd control because I've tested it and you can't, it does proc when you're in crowd control. So that is this right here. Again, this is now a passive. Healing Elixir is no longer a button you press. You can see it on my bar. It is a buff though, right here. So I have one Healing Elixir stored, which will heal for 20% of your max health if brought below 40%. And that's what it is. It's a passive now. There's nothing else to it. Am, am I a fan of this? Not really. I like having the ability to use my healing elixirs when I want to. Is it going to be helpful when, you know, team swapped me? Yes. It takes a little bit of the skill away, though. You know, being able to pre-diffuse, pre-damp and all that. But for the most part, I think this is a, it's a decent change. And now, look, I have two I have two healing elixirs stored. And one thing I want to note about this change that I think is very important. It says that you have one healing elixir every 30 seconds stacking up to two times if you have two stacks of healing elixir and 30 seconds goes by there's going to be a third healing elixir waiting it's just waiting for one to get consumed and then you automatically have two once one procs i hope that makes sense yeah um life cocoon healing increased by 33 percent not complaining about this at all i think this is Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Life Cocoon, you know, in PvE, I've never been asked once in a raid for a Life Cocoon. Yo, yo, can you Life Cocoon me on this mechanic? Never once. In PvP, this is actually massive. This is this is huge. This is, I know our health pools are going up, but that also affects Life Cocoon. So this Life Cocoon, again, is just going to be our major healing uh, cooldown for PvP and PvE. Life Cocoon can no longer be cancelled. I don't know what this means. Canceling Life Cocoon early was sometimes optimal in order to trigger Nourishing Chi. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. That's a good little workaround for getting Nourishing Chi. So Nourishing Chi is this talent right over here. It's one of these right here. When Life Cocoon ends, the the hots still the hot effect lingers for 10 seconds. That's actually a neat thing that you can do. This is probably a PvE thing, definitely not PvP. Uh, we got Soothing Mist healing increased by 40%. We'll take that. Enveloping Mist healing increased by 25%. Okay, Vivify increased by 40%. So these these are some pretty good buffs. These are some pretty good buffs just to our flat Vivify healing, our Enveloping Mist, and our Soothing Mist. So this is just for Cast and Mist Weaver. This is just a great buff. Uh, this one right here, not a fan of this change. Misty Peak's chance to trigger reduced to 2.5 slash 5% was 5 slash 10%. So this is Misty Peak's right here. 
it was already not really a used talent, at least in PvP. And PvE, I think you use it sometimes, but it's kind of weird because it's just a really, really big nerf. Because the chance to apply Enveloping Mist for two seconds, it's still two seconds no matter the percentage. So I wish that they nerfed the chance, but increased the duration of Enveloping Mist when it did proc. But I guess they don't want to do that. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this change, though. Kind of sad. I, I did like Misty Peaks in RBG's solo shuffle. Um, even when I casted Mistweaver in uh, in Mythic Plus, I was kind of a fan. So I'm kind of sad about this change. Kind of a sad nerf. Enveloping Breath now heals up to five nearby targets with six. I guess, I don't know, I guess too much AoE healing or something, I guess, in PvE. Maybe it raids. Enveloping Breath healing decreased by 20%, which is a little sad. Enveloping Breath is pretty strong, though. It, it's pretty solid. So, I, I, you know, it is what it is. Invigorating Mist healing increased by 40%. So I'm assuming that's this right here. So that is the cleave heal from Vivify. This is what makes it so when you have Renewing Mist on people. Oh, I don't have my beta does not want to change everything. So this is when you have Renewing Mist on people and you heal somebody else and it heals them. The Vivify heals everyone with Renewing Mist. So that's a that's a pretty good buff. This is, this is a really nice buff to our spread healing. I always feel like we have really good single target healing in PvP. And then we don't have really that much AoE healing. But then in Mythic Plus, I feel like in raiding, we have AoE healing, but spot healing is kind of rough. So this is good. Bigger Mist healing is now reduced uh, beyond five targets. So I guess they don't want you to have more than, you know, insane amount of healing on people that have a ton of Renewing Mist on them. Invigorating Mist healing visual is now visible to the caster. Oh, okay. I thought, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was already like that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So the little green underneath the feet, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't change how you play or anything, but it's nice that you actually, it, it already had kind of like an, you know, an animation before, but burst of life healing increased by a hundred percent. So burst of life is this talent right here. When life cocoon ends, it bursts and you heal three nearby allies. One trick with this talent, if you're playing it and you, let's just say, I mean, most of the time it's mostly for PVP, but if you, Life cocoon yourself and you LOS your teammates. It'll get spread. The bloom of the burst of life will only heal you. That's a massive heal. But you don't really use that in PvP. I don't even know if you use it in PvE either. I think Chrysalis is way too strong to give up. Essence Font now heals five targets with six. Essence Font healing increased by 40%. So they're giving us some Essence Font healing. We aren't looking to heavily push Essence Font rotationally in Guardians of the Dream. But it's totally healing up. It has fallen further behind than is comfortable and it may help Feyline's initial heal feel more impactful. So they just want Essence Font to do more healing. Also, when you Feyline Stomp, you put out some you know, Essence Font bolts. And I guess they want that healing to feel impactful. I never really get that feeling when I use Feyline Stomp. I just use Feyline Stomp to activate Ancient Teachings. I never really say I'm going to fail and stomp here for <laughs> for for the for the essence font. Uh very sad nerf here for PVP and PvE in general. This is just a sad nerf for Miss Weaver. So Cloud of Focus uh now increases healing and decreases the mana cost of Vivified and Velvet Mist by 15% was 20. So that means each stack is going to be 15, 30, 45 as opposed to 20, 40, 60%. This is a very sad nerf. They've made this nerf three times now and they've reverted it every time. So I'm surprised they haven't learned that we kind of need this. This is the crutch of Miss Weaver right now. If cast a Miss Weaver, so kind of sad that they're making this change. Ancient teachings uh, increase to forty yards. This is literally amazing. It, it this is crazy good. So this one of the downsides of fist weaving was the thirty yard range. You kind of miss out on healing and PVE and PVP, or at least in raiding um, and PVP. And now it's forty yards. So this is massive for you know if you're playing with warlocks that pour, mages that blink, boomies that kite. Very, very good. If there's someone running out of the raid for a mechanic, you should still be able to heal them. This is a really good change. Ancient Concordance is now a one rank talent. So that is this talent right here. So now you just have to put one uh, one talent into it and you get a, you free up a talent. This is fantastic for fist weaving. Uh, I, in my opinion, you're going to go to Energizing Brew slash Life Cycles and then you're going to get Focus Thunder. Focus Thunder, very, very good talent. That way you can have two Thunder Focus T Rising Sun Kicks and you can do a ton of damage every 30 seconds, which means you're going to do a ton of healing. Unison's range now increased to 40 yards was 15. And it now duplicates 50% of Soothing Mist healing was 100. Okay, so they buffed the range and nerfed the healing. I, I've never used Unison once this entire expansion. Maybe someone has a good use for it. I don't though. And then the second major change is this right here, the Expel Harm change. So Expel Harm right now 
10.147 before 10.2. It was pretty much a small heal. It was basically a healing elixir for yourself and your teammate. Like you could use, uh, you know, Soothing Mist, Expel Harm, both of you. Fantastic. They have changed that, and they've also changed the talents that go along with it. So the talents, uh, Strength of Spirit, now increase the healing of Expel Harm by up to 30%, was 100%, which is a little unfortunate, but there's other changes. So they they buff the mana cost. They increase the healing of Expel Harm by 550%. Expel Harm now deals damage equal to 25% of the amount healed, was 10%. So that's really good for the damage. It's not going to be a ton, but so insane. Expel Harm's damage range increased to 20 yards, was 80 yards. So this is weird because this does break CC. So if you're in a Mythic Plus PvP and you Expel Harm, there's a chance that it'll break a trap, an in-cap or something. And now Expel Harm can no longer be cast on allies during Soothing Mist. So that is kind of sad. So what this is, this it's just a big heal now. That's essentially what it is. So you kind of want to, let me see if I can get the talent for it. Boom. So we have Strength of Spirit. There's three talents that impact the amount of healing that Expel Harm does. The first one is this one right here, which is Vigorous Expulsion. Expel Harm's healing increased by 5% and Critical Strike Chance increased by 15%. So that's one. Strength of Spirit, Expel Harm's healing is increased by up to 30% based on missing health. So you'll do more healing when you're on lower health. And then you also have Profound Rebuttal, Expel Harm's critical healing is increased by 15%. So if I drop myself right here, hopefully I don't die. I don't, and I use Expel Harm. I healed for 160,000 Expel Harm just because. And my mastery was 6,000. I don't think I have mastery gear on. No. So if you have a ton of mastery, don't forget expel harm is also affected by mastery. So if you are running mastery, it's going to be an even bigger heal than that. It's going to be like close to like a 250k heal. And if you have lower health, you're also going to get more of a heal. So that is crazy. Expel harm is going to be a little self heal for you. You can't use it on teammates, but that's okay. Phalanx stop initial healing and damage increased by 150%. We felt the fan line was not impactful enough on its own for how often it's pressed. Yeah, I, I never, again, like I said before, I never I never press fan line stomp here and be like, oh, we're safe. You know, I'm, you're just pressing it to activate your ancient teachings, essentially. So that's that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't think this will change much. Comic Presence now reduces damage taken by 6%. What's 3%? Oh, it does not affect PvP. Sad. So I think that's this one right here. Reduces all damage taken by 6%. So I guess, you know, hey, a little 3% buff to miss weavers and pve that's awesome um bounce back so this got crazy buff bouncing back now reduces damage taken by 20 slash 40 percent was 10 slash 20 percent triggers when you receive 12 percent of your max health was 20 percent and lasts an additional two seconds does not affect pvp i'm a little sad about it, it doesn't affect pvp but that's this talent right here or here so this is really good for PvE. Really, really, really good. It's a 30-second internal cooldown, but, it, you know, you're moving throughout a dungeon. 30 seconds is nothing. So you might have to... You're probably going to go strength... Actually, you can even go Fatal Touch here and just go here. But all, all that aside, it's a really good talent. Mostly probably geared. It's mostly probably meant for Brewmasters, but this is actually really good for Mistweavers because I feel like we can just die at any point. But now you, you this is better than Fort Brew. This is a better damage reduction than Fort Brew. So... Bounce back's cool. I would I would say there's a good chance that we could probably go for it if, if there's some way. We got free extra we got extra talents too from the you know getting the rising sun kick and the escape from reality. So I bet there's a way to get it. Blackout kick damage increased by 15%. Does not affect PvP. Tiger palm uh, damage increased by 50%. Does not affect PvP. Again, any damage buff increases our healing output because we're fisting most of the time. So this is great. Spinning crane kick damage increased by 5%. That's fine. Ancient teaching of the monastery mouse stack up to four times was three. Oh, so that's this one. Oh, that's a really interesting change. Holy cow. Wait, that's that's actually a decent change. So that's when you tiger palm. You could take, oh my God, that's so much damage you can do. Holy cow. Wait, so you could be able to tiger palm and it goes up to four times and then you could blackout kick four. Oh, um, this, this, that's really good. This is a really scary change for PvP, but oh my God, that's crazy. That's a really good change for fist weaving in general. You're going to be doing a lot more healing because you're going to be doing a lot more damage, especially when you could put that with uh, Ancient Concordance. Oh, wow. And your Awakened Feyline. This is a really good change for fist weaving. 
this is gonna be also gonna be this is gonna be a lot of damage. And then they just changed our two set from this raid. Healing elixir and Zen Pulse. I've swapped locations in the tree. So this is healing elixir and this is Zen Pulse. They made they made it so your Zen Pulse can branch to you know echoing reverberation Zen Pulse. But healing elixir is here, so they moved it a little bit. I like it a lot. I like this change. I like the connections. Fantastic. They're doing a great job. Fix an issue causing tier of warning focus thunder bonus not to be properly increased by twenty five percent. Well, that's that that's pretty big. That's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. Tier of warnings down here. <laughs> Increase it. Okay, that's that's actually a big change. So I like that. I like that fix right there. For PvP, they just uh, reduce expel harm healing in PvP. So it's gonna be more like one hundred twenty k heal. You know, depending on your health. And then they refreshing breeze has been removed because if no one played it, I played it against feral druids but it was a pvp talent that just dispelled things it doesn't matter that they, they removed it no one played it and then enveloping mist and vivify were nerfed they, they removed some of the healing increase because they buffed it up here so they're just it, they offset each other we it's actually a net buff anyway so it's it's fine those those nerfs are fine so these changes are good i i have no complaints about these changes it seems like they're really trying to accommodate cast and mist weaver and fist weaving two completely different play styles i think they're doing a great job of it too and then we also have our new tier set. So our two set, Renewing Mist applies Chi Harmony to its initial target, increases in their healing taken from you by 50, 50% for eight seconds. This is insane healing output. This is the buff right here. Healing taken increased by 50%. This also interacts with Rapid Diffusion. So if I Rising Sun Kick, if I can find it on my bar, where's my Rising Sun Kick right here? If I Rising Sun Kick, Maybe it'll show, there we go, this guy got healed by, by it. They also get the buff. So it's also going to affect fist, affect fist weaving, which is amazing. So that two set is freaking insane. I cannot believe it's only the two set. It's so good. In PvP, it's 25%, but 20, 25, imagine if they just said Miss Weavers have a 25% healing buff. That's where our two set is. It's so good. And then our four set is, it's a little bit more, it's weird, but I don't really think about it that much. 20% of the healing you do to targets with Chi Harmony is stored. And then disperse evenly among your allies with renewing mist when chi harmony fades or is refreshed so depending on how much healing i do to somebody so right now i'm just spam healing into them spam healing into them as soon as this chi harmony goes away it's gonna heal that's what it is uh, i don't know if i can find it in the combat log i don't see it anywhere but essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure you have renewing mist on everybody that's what you want to do. Just make sure you have Renewing Mist on everybody. That'll take care of the four set. Your two set is really just the insane part. For PvP, I would say you kind of want the helm, shoulder, chest, and gloves. But I'm also debating. I'm, I'm, I'm testing a little bit. I'm debating just not going four set because the stats on this gear is really weird. Like, the the where is it? The gloves or the legs have crit mastery. Crit's really bad for PvP. You know, crit verse. I think haste verse. Haste verse, haste mastery, crit verse. It's a lot of crit. So I've been debating just like going like haste verse on the chest and something like haste mastery on the on the shoulders and then just running two set. Haven't really decided that, but I would say if you're gonna go four set, get everything besides the legs. You could also maybe try the shoulders, but I like the haste. So that's what I would do uh, for PvP. For PvE, you're probably just good on just going with all five pieces. They're solid, I'm sure. You know, you could use crit, you can use haste, you can use mastery. It's all solid. But those are the changes to Mistweaver. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope everyone had a great season two of Dragonflight. It was very successful. And that is it for me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.